What's up guys, my name's Brandon and Apple just released iOS 16.6 beta one for registered developers and soon for public beta testers and this came out on a friday which is a very rare day for apple to release a beta update but anyways along with this ios update we also got beta one for ipad os 16.6 mac os 13.5 watch os 9.6 tvOS 16.6 and HomePod OS 16.6. But of course, in this video, we're talking about iOS specifically. So anyways, taking a look at the size of this update, we can see it comes in at just about five and a half gigabytes, which is pretty large, but that's usual when we go from a final to a beta or vice versa. I was coming from 16.5 to 16.6 .6 beta one, and that is the size. Now, if we check out the build number, if we go into our settings, general, about 16.6 we can see that the new build number is 20g 5026e so we do have an e at the end of the build number which indicates we have at least a few betas to go before the final release as expected now if we go down and check out the modem firmware this is a more important thing to note right here so you can see that the modem firmware is now 1.80 0.00 and before this on 16.5 it was 1.70.02 so that is a big jump in modem firmware which is good news if you had any type of cell connectivity issues or just any issues related to the modem that is quite a jump there all right so now what's new here in ios 16.6 beta 1 and the first thing is inside of our settings so if we go back into our settings and go up to search up top if we search for contact key verification you can see that we now have confirmation that it's actually in the code and in the software of iOS 16.6. So if you search for this on 16.5, you will not see anything, but this is now present in 16.6, which means that Apple is laying the groundwork for this feature to be introduced in 16.6. Right now, it doesn't lead anywhere. It just goes to your Apple ID section and settings, but the fact that it shows up in settings when you search for it shows that it's actually there in 16.6. And this contact key verification feature was what Apple announced last year, and it lets Apple device owners verify that they are messaging the person they think they are rather than a malicious bad actor who could have intercepted a message. Now, if the phone detects any type of suspicious activity you will get this alert right here inside of iMessage now of course this is designed for government you know agents people that work for the government journalists and just other people who are prone to malicious digital attacks this is not going to be very useful for your everyday average person because nobody's going to try to intercept any of your text messages but Apple said that this feature is coming in 2023 so I would expect it to be fully rolled out by the time we get the final release of iOS 16.6 and I believe this is the final feature that we've been waiting on for iOS 16 since Apple announced a lot of the features last year so do you guys remember in iOS 16.5 beta 1 how you could ask Siri to record your screen and it would do the screen recording you could even say stop screen recording and it would stop it for you you basically had a full screen recording button in the control center but with your voice because you could stop and start it with your voice well that was in 16.5 beta one and it never showed up again which is very strange and even here in 16.6 beta one watch this record the screen it still doesn't work it says i'm sorry i can't do that here so i just find that very strange that a feature like that especially one that made headlines you know is on all the blogs and all the you know news articles and it's just gone it's just gone after one beta and it's still not here in 16.6 and i know a lot of you guys also ask me about the notification center bug if that is still present and you can see here when i swipe up that it is still present in 16.6 unfortunately so let me go back down here and try it again you can see there we go there's that little stutter that lag in the control center and in safari we still do not have select all so when i select some text right here you can see that i do not have any way to select all text on the web page even if I go right here to search you can see we have nothing here 
to select all, which is quite annoying because you can do that in pretty much any other browser. I did also want to mention that you shouldn't really be expecting too much from iOS 16.6. I mean, think about it. We're almost a year in to having iOS 16 on our device and Apple has been pushing out a ton of new features over the past year. And you know, if we're going to get anything new in 16.6 at all, like I said, I think it's going to be that contact key verification feature, maybe a few bug fixes and some security enhancements. I can't really see any Thing much bigger than that no matter how many betas we have for 16.6 because again we're going to see ios 17 soon and all of apple's focus is going to be on ios 17 which we'll talk about here in a moment and what's interesting is that apple has not published any release notes for ios 16.6 beta 1 so there's release notes for pretty much everything else but nothing for 16.6 beta 1 and it's been a few hours now since Apple has released the software. So I would assume that they're either just running way behind or that there's just not going to be any release notes for beta one because nothing has changed, at least that needs to be mentioned in the release notes, which I find that pretty interesting. Now, if these do come out later, I will leave that linked down in the description below. Now, as far as the performance and battery life goes, I did run a Geekbench 6 test here on iOS 16.6, and I actually scored higher than 16.5. Now, 16.5, the scores that I got on that version were very high. Like they were much higher than 16.4 or 16.4.1 and 16.6 beta one is even higher than 16.5. Now, again, these scores are not really indicative of real world usage, but it is a good baseline. And it's good to see that these scores are both higher than they were on the previous build. But when it comes to battery life, I can't really say battery life has improved or gotten any worse because obviously I just installed this today and plus it's beta one i wouldn't really expect any major change in battery life this late into the cycle like 16.5 was probably the last like major update i would say it wasn't even really major but it was the last what i would consider a major update for ios 16. i don't think 16.6 or 0.7 are going to be very major but anyway yeah battery life don't expect a big change with that just like the performance even though the scores may show better it's probably not going to make a big difference from 16.5 now I could be wrong and if I am and you know if something changes I will talk about it in a future video most likely in an Apple weekly or iOS weekly episode in the future and then finally let's discuss what to expect next from Apple so again today was a very rare Friday release Friday releases are very rare for betas we've seen final releases on Friday but I cannot remember off the top of my head the last time we saw a beta get released on a Friday now 16.6 beta 2. I think that is unlikely to come next week. And honestly, I think it's unlikely to come the following week as well. If I had to guess when we would see 16.6 beta 2, I would say it would come the day after the Worldwide Developers Conference right there on Tuesday, June 6th. And as far as the final release for iOS 16.6, I don't think that's coming until July. So we're probably not going to see iOS 16.6 final get released until the first or second week of July probably at the earliest in my opinion we could even see it a little bit after that but I think it's probably going to fall somewhere within the first two weeks of July and then as far as iOS 17 of course we do get beta 1 right after the worldwide developers conference which takes place on Monday June 5th we are just about two weeks away from seeing that now that will be the developer beta the public beta for the big iOS releases usually come out like the next month so we might see the beta for iOS 17, the public beta, maybe on the same day as the 16.6 betas, maybe right there on July 3rd or July 4th. Now that is a holiday actually, so maybe not. So I don't know, we'll have to wait and see, but just know that the public betas do come out about a month after the developer betas. And that's going to be the case again, if Apple sticks to what they've done in the past. Now keep in mind, iOS 16.6 could very well be the final iOS 16 version to get beta releases. Like we'll likely see a 16.7 but last year Apple just dropped 15.7 RC and then the final version the following week there were never any other betas besides the RC so we might see that same thing happen here with iOS 16 and 16.7 so you know after Apple did that last year they followed up with 15.7 point X updates until iOS 17 dropped in September and we might see the same thing happen this year with iOS 16 but anyways that is iOS 16.7 
6, beta 1. Not too much going on, but that is expected at this stage when we are only two weeks away from iOS 17 beta one. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe for more iOS 16 and especially iOS 17 coverage. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.